Greetings and welcome to another episode of Soul Talk, where we talk to our citizens with members of the community. I'm your host, Fastcart, also known as FC. I'm supposed to be joined by Griffin, but he had to step away for a little bit, but he should be back momentarily. So, while we're waiting for Griffin, I'm just going to do my monologue thing that I didn't do last week, because I... Well, I guess, I, I guess you could say I lost my name, but there he is. Welcome back. Can you hear Welcome me? back. Thank you. Of course I can hear you. <laughs> okay. How are you doing, Griffin? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing well. I, um, for this week, I watched some anime. I watched The Eternals, the movie. I, I like The Eternals, and I read my books, and I was trying to stay warm. <laughs> How about you? How was your week? Uh, week was good. I finally got through the Matrix uh, Resurrection. It took three sittings <laughs> for me to get through it. Wow. I mean, um, were you busy or you just didn't like it? Well, let's just say most times when you like a movie, you'll watch it in one sitting. So <laughs> I didn't, I was okay with it. I mean, it wasn't, I don't, I don't think it held, held a candle to the first one, but I think it was better than the second two. Oh, you got to be kidding. Really? That's my opinion. You liked it that much? Really? I mean, I, no, uh, that's just to say, I, did, I didn't like the second two that much. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I just, this one, they, I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, they waited too long. Sometimes that's the problem when you wait so long to do a sequel to something, you, you know. feel like they jumped a shark? No, I think they changed too much of the major dynamic of the of the previous films by introducing right. something that we've never seen before. I, I don't right. kind of, and you know what I'm talking about. I felt it was a stretch for them to extend it the way they did. I mean, and, and there were still some things that weren't answered, but I mean, yeah, you know, it, it, it was what it was, you know? So let's just say you haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. So I ought to tell you something right there. Okay. Right. But, <laughs> and I just want to say thank you up your shot for the subscription of four months. We appreciate wow, it. Thank, thank you. you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, other than that, I did that, and uh, like you said, it was cold. You guys got all the cold that we had, so it's it's nice here. It's like up in the 30s. Uh, some people won't think that's nice, but, you know, 38 degrees is warm right now. So um, other than that, I haven't done much of anything else. Yeah, just hanging in there. I make, I make a personal request. Next time I get that cold in Chicago, just keep it there. Mm -mm, nope, always got to send it your way. Don't send it my way. Always got to send it your way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the other thing I did was I, I took some time to reorganize, reorder, reorganize my fleet. Um, mm. instead, of, instead of the Odyssey, I'm thinking I might get a, um, a second endeavor. Mm. Okay, but that's I, interesting. I, I, I probably will keep the 600i only because it had the best in show paint job, so I can't melt it. Mm. Otherwise, I, I, otherwise I, cause I see up to the 600i, so I had the, the Hercules and some other stuff, for, uh, the paint job and the jacket in there, so I can't get rid of it. Ah, okay. Yeah, I ended up um, using my tokens to get my A2 back because I melted it to get something. I don't know if it was the Odyssey or the Nautilus. There was something I got. And then I got back my um, Saber Comet because that's Ooh. the only fighter that I have. And I think I melted that during the uh, during the sale as well. So I got that back. So at least I can get back into trying to do some bounty hunting and hanging out with folks. Uh, and when I was doing Jump Town, I was always having to be down on the ground because I didn't have anything to fly in up in the air. So um, at least I can do that now. So yeah, that's about it. Go Map, thank you for the 13 month subscription. Wow. Hey, thank you, Go Map, ATL. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, any other talk that you want to talk about before I, I try to do my thing? No, go ahead. Jump on in. All right. <laughs> on a dark desert highway, cooing my hair. <laughs> Warm smell of colliders riding through the air. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I had to stop for the night. But then she stood in a doorway. I heard a missing bell. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven or this could be hell. Then she lit up the candle and she showed me the way. And there were voices in the corridor, and I thought I heard them say, <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Plenty of room at the Hotel California. Any time of year, you can find it here.
That was my tribute to Juan Joya Boya. He passed away in 2021. He, if you don't wait. remember him, he's the laughing Hispanic guy who we did out all those um all those memes that that that, that we saw. The, the subtitles at the bottom. He, he, oh, he, he died. He, he died. Yeah, he passed away in 2021. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh wow. So that was my Oh. And before you say Hotel California is too old, it was in the movie Chang Chi. And I made my No, I wasn't going to say it was too old. I was just trying to connect. Usually you change the words to something. So that's what had nah. me loop this time. Because I was like, why is he saying the real words? Okay. I, that's, nah. why I, that's what my look was this time. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't know he died. Wow. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. Welcome to the Hotel California. Very cool. <laughs> well, Who well, wrote you know, the song? Welcome to the Citizen. Who wrote the song? Uh, the Eagles. Or, Who sang it? Who sang the Who sang the lead? John. What's his name? The guy who did the Boys of Summer. John Henley. Ah, oh, good. Okay, you know your music a little bit. All right, cool. <laughs> Had to think about it. Yeah, that's okay. You did a good job. That was cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I mean, Susanagi. Yeah, there's so many people. It's just too many people. <laughs> I know what you mean, but there's just too many people. All right, well, welcome. We've got our guests jumping in with us tonight. We've got Admiral Kusanagi, Fist to Face, Cal Roddy, and Pops in Space. How's everybody doing? Hello, fine. Thank you. Happy Yo. New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. That's right. You weren't yeah. were you here last week. No, I don't think he was. Yeah, yes, he was. My my, uh, my voice wasn't here to. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Oh, that's, that's what it was. was. Okay, that's right. Well, oh, Spartan, birthday. thank you for the subscription. Four months. Appreciate yes, it. thank you, Spartan. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate that. Uh, so oh. first up, we have this week, Neat Pete, and it the subtitle says, "Is this thing working?" And I I think. It's been well. Other shows have covered it, but we haven't covered it yet. I think that's like a, a look into Pyro. You know, I'll let everybody else go first, and I'll give my comment. You guys got any thoughts on this one? They're teasing Pyro so much; they better deliver. Pyro. <laughs> looks like a space station. Yeah, or, it looks uh, like a. I guess what you would call like a like a. We can't really say close a crawl space, but one of those like, you know, service. Areas or something like that. Jeffrey tube. Like a Jeffrey's tube, yeah. Yeah, you know, they've been talking about these derelict stations that are going to be in Pyro, but I, the thing that's messing with me is the RR above that. I've seen that logo when CIG was doing something about brands, and I, I can't remember. Does anybody remember seeing that before? Isn't that RR? Rest and Relax? Mm -hmm. What is it? Isn't that like the Rest and Relax? Yeah. Oh, that might be right. Yeah. Uh, that was my first thought. That's what R and R means. Yeah, but no, I mean, that's a, like a low, it, it could be, but I just remember that distinct artwork from something, and it's been driving me crazy. Well, maybe it artwork. is, okay, yeah, forward, maybe you're right, DK, maybe that is what it is, but for some reason, I, just, I thought I remember that artwork from somewhere, okay. My take on it is the fact that he looks like he has the, some type of generator open. Mm -hmm. And you can see the lights on the left where one looks like it's powered on and one's powered off. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're talking about, well, well, it could be pyro. It also could be, you know, that the capability of having a more, um, you know, worked on uh, subsystems. Whether we know, the they tell us we're going to have ships. Yeah, they tell us we're going to have missions like that where we have to do repair work and stuff. You know, you can get hired and do that. So you might be right, Admiral. Maybe it's uh, a hint that that's coming. Yeah, it makes sense for it's it working where they were, might be repairing something, it sounds looks like. Yeah, cool. Okay. Yeah, so it just thing working. That uh, uh, what do you think of the um the quote there though? He's working on something and he's just trying to fix it or just nothing more than that. Too cryptic for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, like I, I, there. I mean, I don't think it's from a song this time. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, next up we have uh, uh, three sixteen point one PTU. Has anyone uh, been participating in three sixteen PTU? 
Not yet. I updated it. But... Yeah, I've been watching some business. people. There was only one really new thing that was added, and that was the derelict ships. Um, mm -hmm. There's a read on that. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, on uh, that, there are only I think what twelve of them. I think is that right? Does that remember what the count like is? That. Yeah, yeah, there's something like 12 of them at nine locations, something like that. And um, they're they're all caterpillars. That's the one thing we yeah. do know about them. Um, uh -huh. And I've watched a few people do them. They're pretty interesting the way they've laid them out. I mean, I know this is the first iteration of it. And you guys, Calrati, have you been in there trying it out? Yeah, I actually um, was going to try out derelicts today, but I didn't get time, but I did try the first build yesterday. Mm. Um, in terms of stability, it was good, um, but I didn't get the chance to try out the derelicts yet. I think they're, um, they were frequenting around Crusader space. Um, most likely, I think they're going to be distributed some more, but I think in the first build, at least from my recollection, they were more frequenting around Crusader space there. Um, I know that for the second build, they, um, they did some updates to it, uh, so... I'm not entirely sure um, of the take on those updates if it the cost of feedback yet, but um, I'm going to jump in tomorrow to see, if not tonight, um, to, to check it out some more. I watched a couple people with streams that were doing it. I was over at Test watching some folks walk through, and I will say this, that, that, that it's beautiful. It looks yeah. great. The, yeah. the the fire, the way they've scattered this, yeah. the wreck now, the wreck is kind of scattered over a larger distance with a lot of parts. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of things that you have to check. And supposedly, mm -hmm. uh, the more you look, you know, beyond the mission, the more you may find. And I guess there are certain mm -hmm. um, what they call rare items. Some people have been <laughs> saying on Spectrum they ain't that rare because <laughs> you could buy them. <laughs> um, but um, they're going to be rare eventually. Right, eventually, mm -hmm. right. And, and it's not there yet, gang, you know, yeah. but it's, it's coming. But we get the idea of what they're trying to yeah. do. So. It looked really cool. I was watching, uh, was it Super Mac Brothers? And yeah. uh, he was kind of going through, and it was it was really fascinating. I was wondering if he could get burned in the fire. I noticed that the temperature didn't change. Yes. Oh, I, I, saw, I saw Buster get really badly burned. Yep. Okay, so you do and get it does put out And it does put out heat, too. If you get okay. close enough to it, you will see your temperature gauge go up a little bit. Excellent. Very cool. I brought that back, so it's pretty I, cool. I only watched it like a, I think I think Buster was on with um, another streamer. They were doing a co-stream, and I probably watched one of them for like you know, so I watched her maybe like ten minutes, and that was it. And after that, I realized I just kind of, I didn't want to see everybody stream every location just because I'm like, well, you know, I take why should I why should I play it? So. Um, <laughs> I like I like a little bit being surprised and you know oh what's around this corner and um, how do I how do I solve this puzzle? I mean back you know when the RPG The Old Republic they had some really cool puzzles in that game and uh, you know I just I just want uh, something similar for this I just oh. don't want somebody to show me how to do it. I agree with you. It's a good Absolutely. idea. Mm -hmm. And they do tell you to make sure you take a tractor beam because for some of them you will have to use it. So yeah. Uh, tri trip mines in this is that 317 yes. is that they did they're in this one they're in this one so there should be in a couple of them right yeah and supposedly from i think it was super mac brother was it dark knight mm -hmm. i think he said that they they i don't know if it was him or not but someone said they damage you but they don't kill you now that may be just oh, in that that somebody's particular case that. but mm -hmm. you do get hurt badly enough that you have to heal up like you'll bleed out if you don't so yeah. just be aware of that so they don't t t technically kill you, but they do kill you. If you let it on time pass. <laughs> if time passes, yeah. I'm sure maybe it would hurt you enough that you would need medical assistance, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool, though. So, so anything else for 316.1? I got I to gotta add a point one to it. <laughs> PTU? <laughs> oh, I, oh, let me ask this. How close do people think it's close to release? <laughs> for three uh, for uh point one yep oh going to live probably next week yeah next week the absolute well they yeah, yeah but they haven't really introduced everything yet i mean there's more aren't they they're probably going to introduce you guys think i don't know i don't Already? think it's just going to be just the del 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 like she's still got the um I... there's something else that's not in there yet actually that's it if you're referring to the to the trip mines? That's 2.7. Was it just the trip mines and the derelicts? I thought there was one other thing in this patch. Maybe, the, okay. Um, Maybe I'm wrong. Well, I can, I, can, I can look at the roadmap, but yeah, I'm not sure. I thought there yeah. was, yeah, I thought there was two different things, but I'm, I know we had the, 
we had the Gradlev rework, so mm -hmm. that came out. Yeah, that and... came out. So oh, sorry, I, I I had made an error when I said laser trip mines. There I am, but I, I thought you were referring to Griff. Um, the mining gadgets, um, which were pushed to three. Yeah, they got pushed back, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe that maybe that is it then. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. So next up, we have Jumptown 2.0 is drawing to a close, but they're having a 48-hour um, marathon. Uh, I, I forget what day it is, but is it, is it, is it already going going or just has yep, it started? Yeah, it just started. It just started. It so started at 7, 7 p.m. Yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern. So it's been going on for a little while now. Um, I just jumped out of it. Um, that was in there with GoMab. I was just. Uh, there he is. He's in it. So uh, he's making the big bucks right now. Um, so I, it's actually a great time. I really like it a lot. I, I, I kind of want, wonder what people think because everybody said it was going to fail. You know, they're like, oh, it's not the original Jump Town. It can't get that persona. And I really think that, I mean, yeah, the money helps a lot. Um, but I think, I think it's pretty successful actually. I mean, I know people like some people are sour because they want to just jump in line and get behind the next person and, and, and just, you know, get 20, 20 grand a pop, um, and throw it in their, you know, their Pisces or whatever, but, um, it's a PVP event. So if people want to do PVP, they can. I think Admiral, um, with regards to what you said, with, where people thought it was going to fail, I, you know, I was actually wondering as to why they were saying that, and I was thinking, you know, maybe because of how fluid the um, the original jump down was, and how scheduled the the other dynamic events were, I feel like p persons were playing on the affairs a little too much, and as a result, that may have enticed them to think, okay, because this is still quote unquote on rails, not connected to or not as you know, it, it it's not triggered by you know in-game events yet. I, I'm I'm guessing that's why they were kind of thinking it's gonna fail to our surprise now and to our um, satisfaction that it it hasn't. And it's been um, loads of fun. I mean, they're pushing the money thing because it's like it gets people there when it's open. Um, whereas the first jump town was like just because of the way the the, the pricing of commodities worked it was always high and it was always there and if you went there you had to be prepare yourself to like you might get into trouble here it's just a lot more trouble because the, the, the groups are a lot larger people like joining up together to to make bigger groups um i mean certainly you know i've watched um uh katie i can't remember her last name um uh, uh citizen Ka citizen katie yeah citizen mm -hmm. katie um you know do it a few times with her or org and the, the YouTube videos she's posted. So um, it, it's it's been, I think people are having a good time. Yeah, but, um, Adam Kushinagi hit, hit uh, on a question that I, that I wanted to ask. So uh, for people who, who participated in Jumptown 2.0, how do you think it's compared to Jumptown 1.0? Do you think it's more fun, less fun, or it's just different? It, it's different. I think that the, to, to Calrati's point, I think that, you know, like anytime something introduced, new gets introduced, people get, you know, a little nervous about things. And of course, because the first Jump Town was more organic and just kind of grew out of what was going on in the game, it was unintentional, then obviously people felt, how do you recreate that? But I think one of the things that CIG has done well is the fact that there's, a, there's still variableness to it. Um, it could be in uh, several different locations. And I think that this is still the first iteration of it that we're seeing. They can still do more to keep us on our toes when it comes to Jump Town. We haven't gotten into having NPCs engage in it or anything else yet. So, you know, the, the good thing is, like how Roddy said, they, they've done a decent job. Players are enjoying it. Um, and, you know, it, it's just one of those things. You know, sometimes we react because we hear something new. But I also understand... There's a, there was a big question about could they recreate the drama that existed uh, in the first one, and it seems like it's a different type of drama, but there's drama, so folks are having a good time. I just wanted to point out, Gomez said between nine shows and Jump Town, he's made over ten million um, credits. Like, wow! Oh man! Hmm. Mm. So, has everyone, has everyone else um, participated in, in Jump Town, or are you, you going to um, do do the last hurrah with the last forty eight hours? Last hurrah! Last hurrah! Did you ever get to go in and start your mess fist, or you still got to do it? Oh no, no we we're we planning to do, do that. We're going to talk to you till later on tonight about it. 
<laughs> okay. Are you guys gonna are you guys gonna do it this weekend or, or Friday or something? Yes, sir. Okay. So yeah, so citizens in New Storm, particularly in Jumptown, it's Friday. Uh, probably not in the evening. Right. Well go back here says don't try to do it solo. So there's a caveat there. Um if, if there's a comm relay in that, that monitors that region of space. So if if the comm array is up, you know, if you shoot first, you could get, you know, whacked with the criminal status, but you could always, you know, charge somebody else if they just shot you while that was up. But if that no, comm array I'm goes not... down, that's when you know, you know, you probably should think about what you want to do for that time time in the game because there's a chance that uh, a larger group may be coming in to take people up. To include an A2 well, that just might wipe out the whole area in like a matter of minutes. We, we may uh, take take out the comma ray. That, 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 it, that, it, it, that, it. It's not going to talk A. <laughs> I said man. I said man, so. <laughs> oh, I had a question, but I forgot what it was uh, regarding dumb town. Um, I hope you're gonna come back to me. But um, any other thoughts about about jumped out? Like, are pe people seem to be having fun. So, uh, is that the consensus? Jumped out two point is fun. Yep, going good. What do you guys think oh, about? Yeah. Did you guys? Any of you guys play um, Nine Tails? I no. did. Oh. I did not monkey around with Nine Tails, unfortunately, because of the timing and the medical runs and all that stuff. I didn't get engaged in it. Didn't you guys do it? No. I have some thoughts about it, and I'm really looking forward to physicalized cargo um, coming in mm. to um, change it. Because what I noticed was uh, surprisingly, um, because I was asking for some feedback for this um, from different angles as well. And um, so I had rented, and I was using my my Cutlass and um, and Connie, and coincidentally, they were. Larger ships were closer to, say, let's say Ninetales were at Crusader L1, right? Mm -hmm. So larger ships were at uh, Crusader space, you know, Deacons and Hicks are on Yela and Selen, whereas the smaller ships had to travel to, for, further to get the medical supplies. Um, and, well, I mean, that didn't happen all the time, but I figured that the reason why it was because of how, the inst how instantaneous the cargo was in terms of loading. Uh, so it it made me you know question and think about you know what kind of um, features that they may implement for physicalized cargo. If, for example, the outposts uh, they may only be able to um, provide, let's say, a certain amount of cargo. In this case, medical supplies um, every fifteen minutes. Right, you'll have to physically load it, but because of that time gap that you have to wait, uh, it may be more viable for the larger ships to travel further to the cargo decks or so that, you know, may offer um, more medical supplies for every five minutes, right? So as a result, that could actually give more incentive for smaller ships to go to the shorter distances. Um, even if they have to wait some, you know, more minutes, uh, they'll still get enough for their for their smaller cargo space. So in terms of that, that's part of the th one thing that I'm looking forward to um, with regards to Nine tails and other similar dynamic events being affected in terms of, you know, cargo and supply runs. Um, but yeah, I really like the improvements. One of the questions uh, that I had posted in the dynamic events AMA that I can't remember his name. Uh, they did increase the modifiers. So even if you, even though you had to wait, um, you know, you, yeah, you, you had to wait still from time to time, every ten minutes or so, to sell the cargo. It wasn't as um, grueling of a wait oh. as the original. Tales. So it was a nice refresh, you know. I'm sure a lot of people, Gomab included, made a lot of bank um, from Nine Tails. Well, yeah. I used a I used an M2, and I made uh, with one load, I made about three hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars. Wow! It was like you had to buy. It, it was like eight hundred eight hundred thousand AUEC, excuse me, and um, and it was like a worth a million. And then they apparently there's like a bonus. I, I didn't understand the whole bonus thing, but uh, that was like the yeah pe people were doing the uh, the metal medical supplies. You're making a lot of money, but because people were using in such large quantities, like say a C2 or an M2, like you'd have to if you could finally park your ship because there was a line. I had to like wait behind in another 
like large ship because they were waiting for another ship to land because there was just like a you know it was like a parking lot at the mall and then uh, once you get in there you had to, i had to wait like 15 20 minutes to sell my goods because there was no demand for it so then i was just in, i put up uh, then i was just in there with like five people just who were just waiting for me i was the, i was the next one up they were just waiting for me to be able to sell mine so they could try to sell theirs oh um with regards to what you were wondering about the the bonus so uh it's 1000 alpha uec for every scu that you have so if the if your ship had like 600 um scu then it's 600 times a thousand so that's oh. the bonus that you're getting. Oh, okay and then the um I, and then and of course the the fighting nine tails was i did that once or twice that was for, that was really good i mean there was just like enemy ships all over the place missiles and stuff like i think there was like nine enemy hammerheads at the same time at once like one time so well, it was pretty um, interesting and Calvati already touched on this, but I wanted to ask other people. So, what improvements you you hoping they'll make for the next um, dynamic event, or like uh, jump jump count three point zero, if, if any? I have to piggyback off what Griff said. Maybe make it not necessarily a specific location. You know, maybe make it a random location. Like you know, there's other you know places like you know the junkyard, Brio's junkyard, or something like that. You know. Cool. Anyone else? Any improvement for Jumptown 3.0? So to add to that, I hope that um, not all of the locations are on the surface. Um, because, for example, um, there's a cave on Daymar um, near, I think it's the opened one um, for Kuja Ore. And just below the surface, there's this little sur um, this piece here where an outpost could fit. Right? And the only thing that I was, the only gripe that I had with the current jump town was that unlike the, the original one, we have A2s, right? Um, you know, having like a, an outpost just under the surface can really limit um, or kind of increase the kind of strategies that persons will have. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't, you know, be killed by a unstrategic um, A2 bomber, you yeah. know? So that's the only thing that I'm looking forward to, more use of underground facilities and, and those things. I will say that the new build-outs that they did at the locations were nice, the extended um, bases. Um, a lot of good places in there for PvP. I, I saw several times where people literally snuck up and just started sniping, or if you happen to be there on a day when the weather was really bad, somebody came down from the mountains, they'd make that trek all the way down and come in and kill everybody that was inside because nobody was looking for them. Um, so the, the fact that they've added more, you know, just more that you can do at the facilities. And again, if they make them dynamic where you just don't know which one it's going to be at. And like you said, Fist, as they start using the junkyards and other locations like that, I think that'll be great. Okay. okay. I, think, I think the only thing I can add to that is, uh, that they in, in work on the um, range of seeing ground vehicles. I think we had talked about this before, um, and that the uh, ground vehicle signatures are just way too big. And if they could get those signatures reduced so that they're a little more difficult to be seen mm. from, uh, from a distance. Uh, I think somebody was watching somebody talking about um, that keeping them, it was space covered. And uh, he was talking uh, that they, if they could get the ground vehicles range to say a couple hundred meters for some of the larger uh, vehicles like a ballista or a tonk, that uh, it would be nice because then they could come in a little more stealth and mm -hmm. be able to occupy uh, an area without being seen by, say, uh, uh, somebody coming down in a gladius or something like that and try to, you know, or, or, an, or an A2 or, a, you know, an Ion, which happens to be the, you know, the go-to ship now. <laughs> so, you know. you know something funny, DK? I, the one thing I will say about this one, I saw people using a whole bunch of different stuff. Mm -hmm. So I saw people using Spartans, tanks, uh, ballistas, you know, everything. As, as tumbrels, I saw people using all types of different configurations to come in when they wanted to lock down, you know, which was cool. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the variety and also gave players more opportunity to use different things and different strategies, which I thought was really cool. Even the tank was out there. I saw the tank a couple times. Mm. 
I tried to, uh, I, I drove a tank off a, either a C2 or an M2. And uh, I, I did um, give my concerns about the way I was entering the, sh the, the, the ship, because I think he wanted me to go backwards, if I'm not mistaken. And so I went, uh, so I went out, you know, front, front first, but like out the back. And um, when I landed on the ground, it like literally, like hit the, the, the turret. And it, like and, and a rock at the same time, and it blew like ripped it apart and blew me up like instantly. I'm like, okay, it's definitely not dropping like that because it was a hot drop. We were like, you know, we were mid air. We were doing about you know 100, 200 meters a second or something like that. So we were we were going a pretty good clip. But oh, the ballista gotta... is in, invincible. You can drop that thing and it'll bounce around and it'd be fine. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say that we, we got a hot take from Twitch chat. If you see if you see a, a random ballista in, in, in Jump Town, make sure you take it out right now. Make, make sure you take that out as soon as possible. Okay. Fire. <laughs> go, man. <laughs> Love you, go, man. Okay, so um, I, th I think that's enough for Jump Town 2.0, and hopefully, um, CIG will carry, carry some of the good ideas from. 2.0 and 2.0 and, and improve upon it um, later on. Uh, I think the last time they did like um, it was Xeno Threat it was between six months between 1.0 and, and 2.0, so maybe another six to eight months it'll see 3.0 for Dunk Town. Mm, why are you trying to wish that kind of stuff on us? <laughs> no, let's hope that things get shorter in development, not equal to. Well, I mean, hey, you, you never know. I'm just saying. Minimum. All right. Uh, I, this isn't on the note, but I just wanted to touch on this real quick. But um, buyback tokens were, were released on Monday. I spent both of mine already. It took it took several hours for me to get my two. I, I had one, and I thought I, that was all I, I was going to get. But I uh, but I, I, I used it immediately. But then uh, later on, a second one uh, uh, came up for me. How about everyone else? Did everyone else get, get there at the same time, or, or, or were they spread out uh, for you, if, if you can't share it? So I didn't check, like, I wasn't monitoring it, but I did get two. Uh, however, um, I gotta ask, is this the first time we've gotten two tokens, or...? Yes, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is part of that new concierge thing that they said they were gonna do. Ah, okay. Yeah, I got both mine at the same time. Both mine came yeah. at the same time. Okay, my, it must be my, I was special account for me or something. I don't know. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm all, I only got one. I thought we were going to get two. Apparently. So I, I was happy when, when the second one popped up. So, all right. Okay, so next up we have the People's Radio have a new video. Uh, going to put that up real quick. So, While you're doing that, DK, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about People's Radio? Give a little spin on it because we're here to watch it. Oh, sure, sure. So People's Radio is a uh, community radio station that was created quite a, quite a while ago, but has recently come back. And uh, all of the music that is produced on the radio station is... Uh, Mostly, the shows are created by community members. Now, they do have uh, a random radio that plays when uh, the shows are not playing themselves. But um, but there's many of the community members here that put together shows uh, that play on the show, uh, that play on the radio. And uh, commercials as well that are all featured uh, in lore or in game. Uh, so you'll hear advertisements about Big Benny's or, you, yeah, know, yeah. you know, maybe a uh, advertisement from Anvil, you know, selling their new uh, their new ship or something like that. If, if anybody is familiar with Lave Radio um, over in the Elite Dangerous community, I see you, uh, Commander Tony Curtis, you probably are familiar. Um, and uh, it's very similar to that. And in fact, that was one of the um, one of the. Um, What's the word I'm doing? influences uh, with the people's radio. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, hearing some different type of content, um, uh, more of your radio shows and things like that, come over to the people's radio. They're over on Twitch and actually they are uh, 
broadcasting all day, 24 hours a day, um, and uh, it just runs and runs. Also, uh, Distant Radio also was another one on Elite Dangerous uh, side where um, community members would create music and play and share what they have. So uh, People's Radio is sponsoring the Daymar Rally, and I'm sure you guys will have more to say about that one. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say, um, DK, you have a show on People's Radio, right? What, what you too. <laughs> the same too, fast card. <laughs> you too, fast card. Uh, no, my show is on Thursday on Saturdays uh, at uh, 10 p.m. UTC. That's in game time, so it's uh, for me 4 p.m. Central, uh, and then uh, it rebroadcast at 10 a.m. UTC, uh, which is like. 4 a.m. for us, um, and then uh, what's your what time is your shows on Fridays, uh, right? My show is normally at around 4 p.m. Um, um, Eastern or 2100 UTC, but it, 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 it's every four to five weeks. It, 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 it's only mm-hmm. once a month. So I, I, as far as I don't, I, I don't think I have a rerun, but the, it is available on Mixcloud. So you look on the People Radio mm-hmm. tw- Twitter account, you can find it there. That's right. And, so come and, check with it out. We're going to, and with that, we're going to check out a video real quick. So here we go. This is their new promo. Welcome to this experience. We are proud to present. We will explore. Infinity. Non stop streaming 24 7. Lock it on around the planet. Around the verse. The People's Radio. Nefsky. And that was it for the people's radio. So cool. I, there's a whole lot of stuff going, going going on in the video. I don't know about you. I, I had trouble keeping track. <laughs> I know there is. <laughs> <laughs> but I did like how the the, the clerk ma- ma- matched with the audio. I thought that was a nice touch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the okay, producers do a great job. I have a message to CIG. I think the video was great. The promo was great. CIG, listen to us, CIG. No more performers what, what do they call it um oh, performance performance capture, oh, performance capture mm-hmm. artists for dances please go get some hip-hop people and let them <laughs> dance <laughs> and please please i don't want to see no funky chicken none of that other stuff anymore y'all get some dancers to come in yeah. and people will dance we will be in those clubs those restaurants those bars but y'all got to get us off of them performance i got bless them for their performances for the other stuff but not for dancing. Please go get some hip hop dancers and let them come dance for you guys. I hope you're not critiquing my, my, my dancing in that video. <laughs> That's right. You were dancing, weren't you? <laughs> I was in the, I, I found myself at the end, yeah. yeah it's I, it's I hard for me to even too. say dancing. It's more moving than dancing. So we, we need to get some dancers in. <laughs> they got people doing the electric side. <laughs> while yeah, the car. Man. yeah, you yeah. got to get some stuff in there, man. Come on. This has I mean, been too long. Hey, Buster. Buster. <laughs> yeah, of all the dancers, I mean, there are so many things you, 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 you can throw in there. Yeah, it, yeah this tier zero chicken. dancing, this, this tier zero dancing has got to go though we've been on this dance for what four years now five years yeah. we gotta move on well it's funny because we were doing it like uh you know jade was pinnacle of putting this little dance scenario together that we at least the part that i was a p- part of and uh she's like no no funky chicken mm-hmm. <laughs> and she'd be like yelling at people mm-hmm. no funky chicken. for real <laughs> hey maiden but hey, it is man. it is it is, oh, it, is it is a great uh it is a great oh. uh, promo so congratulations <laughs> Oh, I missed it. Buster, thank you for the raid. I, I didn't oh, see wow. it. I didn't see nice. it. Thank you yeah. for the raid, Buster. Yeah, didn't and catch that either. Thank from, you. From Buster's um, channel. We'll talk about the people where you are at the moment. But I think we're, we're ready to move on to Daymar Rally, right? Yeah, yeah. We can uh, step into that. All right. So Daymar Rally also have a, a trailer. Uh, you want to 
you just want to go into it and come back? Well, just real quick. I mean, everybody, I think most of you have been, if you've been in Star Citizen for any time, you're familiar with the Daymar Rally. And over the years, it's been building and building. And now they have, they have a great partnership now with CIG. And uh, this weekend coming up is going to be the rally. So for those of you who can watch and participate, each year has just gotten better and better. And uh, we're just kind of really looking forward to seeing, you know, the improvements this year. Um, but it's a, a race. Well, you guys already know all this stuff, yeah. but uh, there is a website and we're going to put the link in for you. But uh, they put out a new trailer for this year. So, uh, yeah, we can take a look at it. Maiden Aliana, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Thank you, Maiden. Uh, so I'm going to hit the... So that was the trailer for Demo Valley. Oh, that was pretty good too. Um, it gives it gives people an, an idea of what the um the racing is like. And I I I said I saw people standing standing on the side cheering them on. I don't think that's gonna happen in in, in, in any game. <laughs> well, I will say this: the improvements to bikes is gonna make this really exciting this yeah. year. I, I think mm -hmm. that everybody's really excited. Uh, the, you know, the four wheel vehicles have been good, but uh, man, this thing with the bikes now is gonna add a whole new spice to this. I was seeing those guys standing up there doing a, uh, a you know, fist bump and everything. I'm like, that's going to be Tusker Raiders. They're shooting rail guns. Oh. <laughs> 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 yes, I want to I want to show you the website that Daymar Rally has. It's like 510 kilometers, three outposts, one moon. And that's the Star Citizen community event to be on the 15th of January. I believe it starts at noon Eastern, but um. I, I didn't see time on, on, on this website, but I, I believe that's what it is. So check your local time for, for that. They probably have it someplace else. But yeah, so the, yeah, they, uh, they got the rules and everything on, on the site. Uh, Kusanagi, can you put the, uh, well, it's right there. It, it, it's in Twitch chat. So yeah, daymarrally.com. Uh, is anyone here going to participate? I'll be watching. Be watching. Mm. Yeah, I'll be watching. I wonder if they're what they're going to do for security this year because that's always been a problem, and I'm hoping that this year they're able to work out something good for the servers, because um, I'm hoping people will leave these folks alone this time and let them have a good time. I thought do they, they run like... multiple servers? Hmm. Do they run multiple servers? Uh, yeah, but what happens is you know they'll get the servers and you know their people will be in them, but then like when sometimes when people would get bumped out or people would leave, then you get the people who come in and stream snipe. You know, mm -hmm. and, you know, they're trying to have an event and folks come in and, and they try to have security and everything. But it's just a, it's a difficult thing to do, you know, and I'm, I'm mm -hmm. hoping that the community will kind of respect this as, as it being an official event and allow it to, you know, let, let it flourish. You know, because there were some people who did get impacted that were in the race because of that last time. I don't know. Hopefully, they'll figure something out. I think that there's going to be quite a few teams on there, so I don't think they could they could get all the teams on one server anyway. Yeah, that's a lot of people. No, they don't do that. They they split it up. It's basically yeah, they are, yeah. it's a system of how they do it, where they break folks up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, um, the spoiled each each division or three division will have a game surprise pack, and I believe for every team, every member. Get a prize, so mm -hmm. it'd be cool. Looking forward to it. Yeah, very some cool. people are, uh, some people are going to be in a um, eight ninety yacht as a VIP to um, just watching it. Right there, there's the map, and there's five hundred five hundred ten kilometers. So 
Yeah, it should be fine. Made Ariana says you use a reclaimer as a camera. <laughs> as a camera <laughs> vehicle. <laughs> it's a big camera ship. <laughs> I mean, what's cool, watching this over the years, what's also cool is seeing that the, there's becoming greater stability in the game mm -hmm. uh, to allow for this to happen. Because first year, you know, this, you know, the 30Ks, a whole lot of things were happening. And this year, between the bikes being improved and the 30K issue being adjusted or being dealt with, I think it'll be really, um, you know, for the, those who participate, you know, they'll, they'll get a lot of satisfaction out of all the hard work they're putting in for this. Wait, I, I think I mean, Reliant, not, not, not Reclaimer, correct? Reliant? No, no she, said, she said Reclaimer. You're telling Reclaimer, okay. <laughs> reclaimer, <laughs> camera shit. Why not? <laughs> Why not, right? <laughs> all right. So it's there for the, it's there for the salvage work. That's why they're bringing the reclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pick, up, pick, up all the, pick up all the wrecks. Yeah. Could you imagine? That'd be oh, great. She was joking because in, in the trailer. Okay, you, you, you had me confused. Uh, you got me, Grad Deck. Made in. But once salvage gets in and you got all those bikes crashing, you're right, Griff. It's going to oh. be real handy. <laughs> somebody's going to be like, I'm going to make Somebody's going to want that contract for Right. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. So next up, we have the news everyone's been waiting to get to. <laughs> it is the MTV um, report article about Star Citizen, it's five-year mission. It's, it's been covered extensively on Reddit and other people have, have been uh, talking about it. Uh, um, the new profile had, an, had a video about it uh, a bit ago. You want to talk about that, Griffin? Well, Anubafire put out a video. You mentioned about the one Montoya put out. Several people have put out videos about this. Uh, board gamer, a lot of folks have. And the one thing I do appreciate is that everybody very quickly uh, made sure that people understood what this article was about. Because obviously, when people saw the title, there was the typical thing that many of us Star Citizens do. We don't read. <laughs> and so people thought it was saying, oh, Star Citizen's coming in five years. And that was not it. And I was glad to see that a lot of those content creators were very quick to say that's not the case. This is what it's about. It's about a five-year plan for the company and where mm -hmm. they're where they're going. And so it is informative. Uh, Carl Jones uh, talks a little bit about where the company's going. We've heard the stories about them with their new facility that they're opening up, the new hires, and um, of course he alludes to some other things that they would like to see happen in the future in relation to Squadron yeah. Forty Two. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to give my thought, but I don't want other people to give that thought. Anyone ha have any, any thoughts about this article? No? I thought it was fine. I thought it was okay. a fine article. It, it's, it explained a lot, you know, but, you know, it's it's things that we who follow things, you know, follow deeply into uh, what's happening with the company and how they're running things that... It makes sense. Five years is going to take the time to get more speed up the new uh, the new offices going and getting people hired and moving things around so that they can start working on the next sections of Squadron 42 and things like that. Um, it takes time. And that's a five-year plan. Every company has a plan for what they're going to do for, say, the next five years, the next 10 years, their, their outlook of what they're planning to do. It has nothing to do with the game so much itself is more a company thing of what the company is going to do over the next five years. That might include the game be coming out sometime during then, more likely Squadron 42, right. and not so much Star Citizen, the PTU. But it is giving us an idea of what this company's plan is over these next five years. So you, you see that with just about every company that makes a plan of, okay, here's what we want to do throughout the next five years, here's our goals, here's what we, you know, what we plan to accomplish. Uh, we're going to be growing, we're going to be moving, we're going to be hiring, we're going to be doing all of this stuff. And it might take up to five years to get all that stuff done. Uh, you, you get the people, the naysayers, who are like, it's going to take five years for Squadron 42 to come out. It's like, really? <laughs> and if you want to believe that, go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I, I do 
GK think that I saw Montoya say in his video, and I, 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 this always happens in these articles when we do these big pieces, that the authors of the pieces, Montoya said, why don't you all talk to the backers? Right. They, they yes. never talk to backers. Yep. And there was bad information in the article. You know, one, I mean, just simple little things, right? Uh, I think on the second paragraph, I said the appeal for its 3.4 million backers. No, there aren't 3.4 back million right. backers, right? There are that many people who've signed up and registered. And right. so they, it, it, whether I don't think it's intentional, but they don't understand how the process works. And so they give out bad information. So people think that there are mm -hmm. 3.4 million people who are backing this game and there aren't. Um, yeah. There was a simple mistake at the beginning where he called it crowd imperium oh, instead of cloud that, imperium, that, that, that's right? The thing that got you know, me. That's like, but that, no, that's a, that, yeah. I mean, he had crowdfunding on his mind. I get it, but 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 again, I, don't know, I wish because, these people I mean, would. With, 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 with the with the with the article title, it's five year mission. I mean, it, it's kind of clickbaity, and then the first sentence, you know, crowd imperium game. A lot of people will turn off thinking that it's it's another hit piece, but I mean to have the author of the uh, the writer of the article and the editor who who went who, who went over this and how many people you know in between uh, and that's and that's my point how do they miss it that yeah. that's my whole mm -hmm. point when i'm saying that they don't talk to people in the community you know what i mean um and i mean for the research and even to run it past because obviously there's more than one person at least i hope who read this for a period i think this periodical has been around like the city of 13 or 18 years um, that nobody caught that at the beginning, you know, um, again, uh, the title wasn't, I don't think it was a clickbait title. I think that it, there's, because there's this cloud that hovers over Star Citizen about how long it's taking, just seeing that title, that even freaked out people who are backers, you know, because we, we're, we're always looking for that timeline or looking for a date. And when someone says five year mission, it's like, whoa, 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 what do you mean? You know, but um, and that's not the case with this article. So, I think Montoya even mentioned, uh, you know, they they were asking about why people would be funding this game and you know and, and this and that, and uh, you know they made four hundred and some odd million dollars and you know it's most expensive. And I'm thinking, well, okay, ten years that's forty million dollars a year. That's forty million dollars a year of taxes, rentals, leases, health insurance, uh, you know, payroll. Mm -hmm. uh, all of that and they, and he said they break even they barely even break even at mm -hmm. the end of a year let alone you know sometimes they might even be in the red so it's you know 40 million dollars a year is not that much when it comes to a, a major company that's it's not that, it's not that much when you look at roblox not. roblox yeah, makes right. 1.6 oh, billion yeah. dollars in one year well, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> you know. uh, a PUBG. Well, I think, I, yeah, yeah pub g there's a make a billion dollars they all make they a make billion, billion a year a year. I mean, I mean, I mean uh, probably you make in, in like a month, but she actually make in a year almost, right? So. And we're talking mobile, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, mobile games make a killer. Right. <laughs> not, not even talking about the, the PC version, but yeah, just mobile. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Did anybody else get to look at the article? Did any other any other guys ever hear about this article? I did read through it. Um, the refreshing thing is that um, that I read essentially was that Carl Jones, um, you know, they said that, you know, they're looking forward to, to Star Citizen being um, a large MMO. And while it didn't really add to anything, it's refreshing that they, you know, they're most likely they have some kind of, you know, vision, um, vision and overall mission uh, apart from what we're seeing on the progress tracker, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so I guess we'll see, we'll see what happens after, um, yeah. Very cool. Okay. All right. I do have a question. He did talk about a little bit about the stuff that was going on in the UK and why they went to Manchester. Um, they talked about everything from some taxes and some tax breaks and things that will happen for them being over there. I don't want to start a rumor, but I do want to ask a question because I think Montoya posted this. Did he post that um, Jared is moving? Yeah, to the he's UK? already. Yeah, he's there. He's yeah, there. Huh? I remember Buster Girl. She was. It is she, official. She, she, she yeah, had a, official. Apparently, she yeah. cried <laughs> because okay. he had moved. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was official yeah. or not. I, just, I was like, okay, is this legit or not? You know, because stuff goes out, you know. I mean, I mean, Chris is moving, Jared is moving, probably other people are moving that we, that we haven't heard about yet. Well, yeah. I knew about Chris moving, but I didn't know right. that other people were moving. But, you mm -hmm. know, now I, don't, now I understand why he spent so much time in Disney World. He was getting the last of his USA in before he <laughs> right. left town, so I get it now. Mm-hmm. 
And speaking of, oh. I just want to thank, 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 thank Jared for for posting a picture with, with me and him on on, on his um on Twitter account. I think it was today. So yeah, I th- th- appreciate that, Jared. Thank you. That, that was that was a nice memory. That was back in 2018. Uh, Can you grab that for you? Can uh, you sure. grab it? Yeah, sure. It's in the images, I believe. Is it images? Uh, no, it's in uh, so uh, uh, CID uh, people. That's what it is. Uh, so yeah, picks with picks with sick. Okay, I got it. Uh, so I'm yeah, sorry. that uh, that's about yeah. it for the uh, for the article. Um, but there is some more. I don't want to say fallout, but you know, other people are uh, jumping jumping on, on the article. We have uh, PC Gamer ha- um, to put out an article ba- based on that article. And it says apparently uh, one of the things that's that's in the, that's in talk about um, in, in the article about Squadron Forty Two is Squadron Forty Two won't be getting one sequel but multiple. We already knew that it was going to have multiple um, episodes, right, Griffin? Oh yeah, they've talked about that for a while. Um, mm-hmm. That you know, the, the the first they're all in chapters, but there mm-hmm. are separate, you know, episodes of of, this, of the game. And maybe some people didn't know that because they don't talk about it very much. You know, when you look at the roadmap, you do see about the chapters, but they don't right. talk about the other games that are following up. And that's one of the things that they've talked about in the sense of revenue too. Uh, that you know, if it continues to move on, that there's other way they'll be bringing in revenue. A lot of the new players don't even know about Squadron Forty Two. They see, they might right. see it on their website, but they come into the PU thinking yeah. like, "This is the, this is the, this is everything that revolves around mm-hmm. uh, Citizen," and it's not at all. Yeah, so they got some, they got some pretty pictures in, in the, um, in the article. I give them that. This is the, um, the carrot. Yeah, from I like last the, I like year. Paint job. Yeah, those are what? last year's. Those are last year's paints. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Okay. I should say, yeah, not twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty. Well, I'll give them credit. They did a better job of explaining things and kind of breaking it down a little bit more than what you would say from Kotaku or something. Oh <laughs> We're yeah. Just gonna yeah. go, you know, ape over. Yeah. Oh, well, five yeah. years is never going to happen. There's going to mm-hmm. be eight hundred million dollars, and there's going to be scamming everybody. It's going to be like, shut up. You know, you know, and it was also good that it was Carl Jones. It was a different yeah, voice. You know what I mean? Because right. sometimes we hear from the same voices, and to hear from someone else in the upper management um, who articulated, you know, the, the business side of where they're trying to go was was also kind of cool. All right. So, any final thoughts about the article or the PC Gamer uh, piece? Did you take it that they were talking more than three games? Because I knew, I thought originally it was three games, but I think there was some talk that it could be more than. Carbon Tales mentioned, he said there's like nine chapters over three games that he thinks. I think there's more chapters in that uh, queue. If you look on the, um, if you look on the um, roadmap, it's like, I mean, maybe, maybe it'll be whittled down to nine when it's all said and done, but on the roadmap, there's like 17 chapters. Something like that. I mean, we're in, unless, I'm we're zoning, unless I'm zoning out, but I think that's if I remember it was something like that. Let me look. I, I, I think it was 2014 or maybe 20, 2015, but Chris um, Lovett brought out the script of uh, Squadron 42. It was like it was like thicker than the Bible, uh, like the, 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 the table, the table, ca- ca- t- table bottle you, you find sometimes. It was thicker than mm. that. I forgot how many pages it had, but it, it was it was it was humongous. So I can I can imagine had, having nine. Oh, more than nine chapters in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Carbon Tail says on um, twenty chapters. It looks like twenty-eight. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite a few. Quite a bit, yeah. That's a lot of game. Mm. Yeah, it's a whole lot of content. Lots of content. Lots of time to develop. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna give it to, it to us, and they're gonna be like, "Okay, now shut up for three years so we can finish the PU." Oh, that's not gonna work. You know, yeah, that's not gonna work. Six months oh, people, people will require. Six months people will be required. Then they start butt barking again. People will be sitting out protesting in front of CIG. That's the crazy thing. You're gonna see people like you know, people racing through games to see how fast they can complete it in. And that's it, a new it's thing. Just like, why th- do that's you, a new thing. Like I don't understand. It's zero like, to hero. <laughs> like I was, I went to see the Eternals like a couple of weeks ago, and there were these kids behind me, and they were listening, watching in like TikTok videos, and I was like, really? Like, 
Attention span, Admiral. Attention oh span. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I mean, say. right about that. I'll I, I tell, tell you this one, um, Admiral Kusanagi. Those kids probably didn't pay for the tickets. <laughs> probably not, because it's getting expensive. If you don't mind me asking you guys, this, we've, we've done this survey before, but I, I don't think I've asked you guys. Are you in this more for Squadron 42 or more in it for Star Citizen? Which one is the one you're looking forward to more? Star Citizen for me. Star Citizen, DK. Yeah. What about you, Fist? Star Citizen. Star Citizen. Okay, Pops? Mm -hmm. um, 60-40 Star Citizen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kalrati? Uh, so since I came from Freelancer, um, I'd have to say Squadron 42. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I'm also looking for, forward to Star Citizen, but at least uh, at a closer point, um, mm -hmm. Squadron 42 because of the whole Freelancer experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. DK, uh, who else would I get? Uh, Admiral. Um, monetarily, I would have to say Star Citizen. Um, but I mean, my my, I love RPG games. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Mass Effect. I think you know that's what Squadron Forty Two is trying to become is like the next Mass Effect. So I'm right. really looking forward to the to Squadron Forty Two, the replayability of Squadron Forty Two. Like, how many times can you actually play this game and, and love every minute of it? That's mm. that's that's the, the kind of like what a great RPG is. Okay. And if they can pull that mm. off, it'll be fantastic. Um, okay, now I have yeah. to change. If 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 it does become like that, then I will look at it like that for um my answer and be like okay. Squadron Forty Two. FC, what about you? For me, it's probably want to. I want to say fifty-five, forty-five. Um, Squadron forty-two. So I said, um, Star Citizen. So I'm okay. Looking, I'm I'm looking more 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 forward to um Squadron forty-two, but just barely. So I, I'm 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 looking I'm looking forward to Squadron forty-two because because of the game and the storyline, and I hope it'll, it'll be a great storyline. I'm 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 expecting a great storyline, but I'm I'm also hoping for Star Citizen because because of the community and I'll be able to hang out with um everyone in the game. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So next up, I guess we have the Machinima. Uh, you want to you want to talk about that, Griffin? Yeah, sure. Uh, we're can, actually we started on this Machinima a while back. We watched Emergence Part uh, One and Two by Mod One, and uh, he's always done great videos, and they got better and better. This one came out in September of uh last year and there's a part three and part four so we're going to try and get those knocked out um so if you got some popcorn you want to get a drink it's got a little bit of time to it. i think it's going to be 15 minutes long yeah this is 15 minutes long so, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so get back to relax and uh and hopefully you guys will enjoy it if you remember parts one and two great if you don't make sure you go back and watch them <laughs> <laughs> not now though not now yeah not now <laughs> wait <laughs> All right, here we go Mr. Kruger, this is Deputy CEO of Fuel Express Hardman and Son. One of our refueling ships, the FEHS Redeemer, disappeared with its crew near the Viria Nebula about three months ago. Welcome Mr. Kruger, my name is Alex, and I am the newly installed Artificial Onboard Assistant. What the f- Alex, why are we are stopping? There is a malfunction in the quantum engine. An energy overload has damaged the fuel distribution module. I'm picking up a heat signature from the ship's mess. Does the toaster now also have a malfunction? I don't think so, unless the toaster learned to walk. The heat source is now moving towards the crew's quarters. Alex. Do we have any weapons on board?
This is Kruger, starting system analysis. Ship systems at 100%. Slight electromagnetic interferences in the propulsion system, but within tolerance. Operator, the ship and I are ready. Lieutenant Kruger, transmission of telemetry data is online. We can start the test. Then let us find out whether the prototype also delivers what it promises. You have green light. Okay, let's do this. Set course for test area 17 Delta. Activating long-range scan. Operator, you can release the drone now. Lieutenant, let's make this interesting. Your target is an AI-controlled Cutlass Black. Weapons clearance confirmed. Fine. Let's heat up this collection of electronic circuits. Now we are finishing this tango. Oh yes, now I'll take you from behind. And I don't be gentle. Target successfully neutralized. I'm now going to test area 21 Charlie for agility test. That's what I call a good launch. All right, telemetry transmission still stable. You may proceed. Operator, the electromagnetic interference on the propulsion system has increased by 3%. Are you receiving the data? We have it in view, but we are still within the tolerance range. Continue with the test. Roger. Activating quantum drive in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Warning. Automatic throttling of the quantum drive inactive. Warning. Collision imminent. I'm going 
down. Operator? Can you hear me? Operator? Have you locked my position? Can anyone hear me? Operator, if you can hear me, I'm triggering the thrusters manually. It's not going to be a loose landing. Send the recovery ship. Can you hear me? Send a recovery ship, please. Oh shit, oh shit, oh! Our transport route didn't foresee us entering an armed conflict. Well, in an emergency I can always throw my helm at him. Where's the heat source now? Something has shut down the entire power grid on the ship. The emergency power is just enough for me to operate my most necessary basic functions on the bridge. The last location of the heat source was the crew quarters. Then I will receive our guest with all due honor. As I just mentioned, I am not available to you outside the bridge. You're on your own. Don't worry, I'll be fine. In the meantime, try to repower the ship. Since we still have gravity, I suspect that the emergency batteries in the engine deck are still charged. If you can get past there, you could call up the power management and connect them to the bridge. Then I'll try to get the grid back online. Okay, I'll put it on my to-do list. Think that's funny? What's your fucking problem? Come out and fight like a man. Gotcha.
What? That's impossible. Alex, do we have power again? Primary functions are back online. Were you able to identify the heat signature? Fuck it. Where's the nearest station? Beautiful Glen Station is the nearest station. Shall I calculate the course? Do it. And when we get there, we are gonna take that son of a bitch down. Activating Grantum Drive in 5, 4, Three, two, one, go. We are slightly off course. I'm picking up scan data that I can't place. Maybe that's discharges from the gas clouds. If I ever feel the need to write a doctoral thesis on particle discharges from gas clouds, then I'll have a look at the data. Right now, I want to talk at this same station. Mr. Kruger, the interference increases rapidly. A large energy field is building up in front of us. up a large object materializing in the anomaly. Alex, what do the scans show? This ship is not in any database. It cannot be assigned to any race. Could it be a new Wendell toy? I don't think so, since the outer shell consists of a material that is still completely unknown in our periodic table. Uh, well, the cozy cocktail evening on the horizon is probably not going to happen now. Mr. Kruger, this is Deputy CEO of Fuel Express Hardman and Son. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was I was eating a little bit before I think about the time. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do people think? Um, Griffin had to step away, but he'll be back, he'll be back soon. But what do people think? We're going in order. Uh, Admiral Kusanagi, what are your thoughts? Ah, we might have stepped away. All right, Dark Knight, what are your sure. thoughts? Well, I, I'll say this. I definitely can tell he's been working on some camera angles and his audio quality since the last, you know, one step we watched. Uh, definitely saw some really cool stuff in, uh, in, in his technique. That whole scene with the uh, ship coming out of Quantum and tumbling down onto, uh, onto Daymar was really cool. I like that. I thought that was awesome. Um, and the story's getting, you know, he's, he's getting very good with the storylines. Um, I'm, you know, looking forward to see what he's going to do next. It's a, it's kind of a, an arc on his own now. Um, and I think he did a good job. And, and you know, there's always room for improvement when it comes to things like these. Um, and, but I could tell, you know, I, I don't know if it's just one person that's putting this together. Um, yeah, I can't but tell. It's, it, yeah, it's, I can't really tell, but it's uh, you maybe had a couple friends join to you know to to add in, but um, I do like the uh, it's it turned out nice, you know, they had the uh, adding in the computer voices and things like that, and and some of the ways that you could tell that 
uh, you know, make it seem like he was working under computers and, you know, the, the boo moments with the guy in the background. I thought it was just really cool. I think it's, you know, it's coming along and it's good to see the community, uh, you know, putting these pieces together and, 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 you know, working on their, their craft and improving with every single iteration that comes out. So, you know, and when more come out, I, I just look forward to see what they're going to do. Okay. Tish Nagy, are you back yet? It's two minutes. There you go. What do you think? I'm back. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I didn't get to see all of it because, you know, me, I, this time I'm usually looking at people. Uh, but uh, anytime people can kind of, you know, put their own spice to Star Citizen and and uh, make some more community content is, is a great thing. And uh, I maybe someone here will look at it and get the idea of making their own. So, um, so yeah. All right, fish. What are your thoughts? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, I gotta be a little honest. There. I kind of thought it took a little bit step backwards on this one from the previous one. The previous one was good because of the way of pacing, you know, the way they convey the character. I mean, obviously, this one was very good camera angles, you know, sound sound design choice and stuff like that. It was just, I'm gonna be honest the voice acting it mm -hmm. threw it off for me not necessarily the person as far as the accent or anything it was just the pacing of their voice acting. it was like because like at towards the end for an example it was like when he the way he said it you know it was kind of i don't know if he was trying to be com comedical I mean, it's not comedical um trying to be uh comical or was he trying to be serious you know so i kind of was trying to figure that out well, to be fair, fish. Not everyone can be com com can communicate like like me. You you are you are you know what you are correct. You, 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 you are correct. I, I, I do agree with you on that one. <laughs> you, you know. No, I I, I, I agree with you. Some of the um, voice acting was a bit off to me, but I mean, I'm 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 gonna be honest, and I'm not trying to make fun, but it seemed like the voice actors may not be native English speakers. So that might have been it. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that no, uh, no, no. I, it's, the, the, it's, the way they, they were enunciating built uh, right. It, it 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 wasn't so much that it was like um. It, like I said again, it wasn't the accent or anything like that. It was just the way it was being conveyed. You mm -hmm. know, because you you can still have an accent and you can still convey either you know comedy or you can convey seriousness. And I wasn't trying to figure out whether or not which direction they were trying to go in. That was that was I was trying to figure it out. And welcome back, Griff. Okay. All right. So next up is Calvati. What do you thought? Yeah, I thought it was um it was pretty good. Um, one thing I really liked that is that they they made use of this of the Starfarer for the whole um uh suspense and everything. Um, I've noticed that I'm not sure if if this occurred in. Another, yeah, I think this occurred um, in another machinima as well. But I've noticed more and more persons are using the Starfarer, or have been using the Starfarer for these kinds of settings. And I'm kind of hope uh, I'm, it's it's actually making me wonder if other ships have this kind of setting to make use of it. You know, because we know that Star the Starfarer was kind of designed around the whole FPS kind of level, and I mean it shows. Um, so it, it, it's actually making me more curious, more and more curious as to. Um, you know its effectiveness for that setting and how well it's exe it, it, how well it executes that um, compared to other ships. You know, and and whether or not we can actually make use of those other ships for those kinds of machinimas in the future too. But yeah, I am. I like the the machinima overall. Good job. Yeah, perhaps. What are your thoughts? Um, the pace a little off. Um. The only other thing, I mean, it, it, it's critical on me only because of um, my um, musical engineering um, back, background is that um, the music at times was overpowering. Uh, you know, when the guns were firing, you should hear more of the guns instead of the, uh, instead of the music. The music should have been more in the background. But little, you know, little things like that. But that, you know, that's just me. Mm. It's just the, the mix, but you know, not everybody 
Not everybody pays attention to that. Right. Yeah, the other thing, other than the voice acting, the thing that um, I, I was half expecting, I think this is the point right here, when it was going, about to enter into quantum, I, I was expecting the, the, the ship to just blow up. I don't know why. I was just expecting it. <laughs> uh, Griffin, how about you? What are your thoughts? Um, I, I was just glad to see a continuation of the story. You know, I haven't seen part four yet. I've just, I've just seen the first three. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how it all is going to, I'm assuming it's culminating with four, but maybe there'll be a five. I don't know. Um, but I, I do like, you know, as always, you know, we, we show a variety of folks uh, on our show. Uh, and uh, Mod has been doing some really great work. Um, and, um, you know, these stories, I, I, for me, this takes a lot of work to do this. Um, yeah. You know, re, re, you know that everybody's building their craft and getting better as they go along. Um, this scene we're looking at right now, I like the idea of the crash sequence that he did. Um, I, I just, I just am trying to highlight, you know, folks in the community who are doing some quality work out here. And this whole storytelling piece for me is really the big thing that I'm really trying to highlight. So, um, kudos, you know, to him for for making the effort and continuing on with it. And we'll see how part four goes. I got to give a shout out to Megan Ariana and she, she creator. Megan Ariana said, to make it more realistic, she should, she should have gotten lost in the stuff. Uh, I completely agree. <laughs> she, should have, she should have gotten lost. I, was, I actually had that, that same thought, Megan Ariana, so you're not alone in that. Um, also, um, CC creator, that, not off topic, but he said he got he got a notification that his SC hoodie ship. So if anyone else at order SC hoodie, check out for a notification. Yeah, fan box or whatever that you, you, you might, they might, they might have gotten notification. All right. Uh, any other thoughts about the cinema? Uh, 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 Griffin, do you know if, if the others are just as long? Well, the other ones were. They're all lengthy, but uh, I don't lengthy. know. The fourth one, like I said, the fourth one I haven't seen. When I say lengthy, I'm saying they're not like five minute pieces. Right, you know? right, right, right. But I, the fourth one, I like I said, I haven't watched the fourth one yet, so I don't know if it, if the story ends there or whether it continues. I'm I'm not sure, but we'll we'll find okay. out. We'll continue it. All right. So I guess part three is next week. So look forward to that. Part four next week. This is part. This is part three right now. No, this is episode two. Are you serious? Did I send you the link for two? I thought I sent you the link for three. No, oh, this is episode, it says episode, well, let me look at, yeah, it says episode two. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's right, because this is where the, we saw the, the, the thing pop up at the end, right? Came out of the, uh, mm -hmm. okay, yes. all right, okay, yeah. all right. So there's a three and a four. Yep, okay, my fault. Yeah. No problem. All right, so I guess with that, I want to say thank you for everyone who's joining us. We had Admiral Kusanagi, Dark Knight, Fit Space, Griffin. Uh, well, Griffin is always here. Thank you for my host, Todd Laddie, and Pot and Space. Uh, I want to thank everyone who and, and watching us and Twitch chat and, and viewing us. Thank you. Thank you for all the subscriptions and follows. And thank you for the raids. Appreciate it. Uh, if you want to follow us on social media, we're on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and SoundCloud. If you want to buy our merchandise, check the link below for a t-shirt, hats, mugs, and uh, mouse pad. And, and we also have a Patreon page if you want to support us there. So we're all over the place, basically. Let me throw this uh, in, too. For our YouTube page, we are going to be doing some new things there. We're going to be doing some giveaways there as well. So for those people who join up as members, if you decide to join as a member, uh, right now we do have some people who've already signed up and the fewer the people there are, the greater the odds that you're going to win something. So <laughs> we're going to be, if you want to get in early, I'm just dropping a hint, you know, you better chance of winning something, but we are going to be doing giveaways there, uh, as well. So, uh, for those of you who follow us on and subscribe, if you decide that you want to join to support us, that's a great way to do it over at YouTube. And, uh, we'll send you more details on that as they come out this within the next week or so. And our next show on Sunday, we're having a show called. Oops, I thought I'd fix that, but we have it's it's about um. Yeah, you're Barker, you're caught in the time zone. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> Barker, Backers, and I forgot the last B. Oh Lord, you really got it, you got it. It's Backers, Boasters, and Balkers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just to let you know, uh, must, must not a save, but yeah, that's our um, ten, uh, eight p.m. Eastern, uh, 
1 a.m. UTC, so check us out on that. That'll be on the 16th and not, not, not the 9th because that's, you know, unless that you have the time travel. <laughs> Moleman, are you are you saying you're a balker? I don't know if Moleman's saying that or whether he was just saying it or not. I don't know if he's a balker, but we're going to have some balking and maybe a little boasting on Sunday, but it's we're going to be talking about, what are we talking about? Oh, there's Calix. Hey, Calix. We're going to be talking about the, I guess, you know, a little bit of white knight and a little bit of salt you know, about Star Citizen and what people think about things. And we actually have a guest coming on, uh, our friend Robbo, who's going to be coming on. And he is, there may, be, there may be another guest too, but I haven't got a confirmation yet. But Robbo is going to be, you guys remember how, like, well, for, the, for you old guys, I don't know if y'all remember David Letterman used to do the top 10, top yeah. five things. He's mm -hmm. pulling together like either a top five or top 10 things that's wrong with Star Citizen. But he's doing it based upon like what's in the, um, you know, the, um, where we do our reports and stuff at, you know, uh -huh. so we're going to kind of look at those things and see, you know, what, how many of those things, you know, really, really do have impact on gameplay and how do players feel about those things and, you know, whether CIG needs to kind of, Hey, you need to look at these things and get this stuff fixed. So we're going to be talking about that. Calix, thank you so much for that resub with prime. We appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by buddy. Thank yep, you. So for the, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. There it is. Yeah, finally got it up there. I was going to say, yeah, it's the wrong one. Yeah, all my That's good okay. artwork. You know, I put all that hard, good artwork in, and then you didn't show it. It's like, what the heck, man? So, I love that picture. I could have sworn I put it in. Sorry about that. But it's That's fine. Okay. Okay, like, yeah, thank you for the description. But yeah, that's the information for our, our next show. The back is both the Jambarkas. Yeah, the that, I think that's, is that colossal on the far right there? I think that's colossal on the far right. <laughs> yeah, there. And, and that, that's gotta be me on, on, on the far left, right? Is that you on the far left? That's you on the far left, yeah? Yeah. That's me in the middle laughing at your joke. That's me in the middle. So whether I'm <laughs> laughing or screaming, I don't know which one it is, but okay. All right, so I just want to say thank you everyone again. And I think we're waiting, um, oops. The rating BS B Savage three. Uh, so. well, they just all died um, at Jump Town <laughs> because it was the first time they went there, and it was kind of funny because they were driving and they're like, "Oh, it's this is too long of a drive," so they decided to just fly like two thousand meters away, and then they all just got sniped uh, oh, and, and killed, well, and their their C two or M two just got blown up, and so they're like, "We just we just." took an hour to get ready to just die oh, no. so oh, uh you know they, what paul's on let's rate paul tonight oh okay we haven't rated him paul. in a while grim is up too if you want to do him either it's paul or grim yeah uh let's do paul because we haven't done him in a little well he's going to be on in a couple of weeks let me <laughs> we'll do paul <laughs> let me also throw a uh thank you to nomad for subscribing uh you currently subscribe oh nine yeah months. Nomad. thank you nine, nine months, months. Appreciate it. yeah thank you no match 1701. Appreciate that. So, yes, yeah, so give, give Paul our love and peace, love, and soul. Thank you, everybody. Take care.